further in uh, this lecture we will be discussing <coughs> examples of substitute goods and substitute and complementary goods so i have bring some uh, examples to better understand and then indirect competition so uh, to have a, a thorough understanding on elasticity of demand concept so in this slide and we will discuss different terminologies there uh, how to measure the elasticity and verbal descriptions according to that just your uh, keep, keep your basic concept clear so if you're looking at the inferior goods so that is negative the quality demanded decreases as income increases and i explained it in my previous lectures that you will put your black and white tv on a side or old fashioned tv on a side and you will switch to led tvs nowadays the uh, time is going ahead and now the hd uh, leds are coming so slowly and steadily as the money comes in pocket so you refrain from the inferior goods normal goods that is bayonet is positive so quantity demanded increases as income increases your salary increases as your bonuses increases so you move from bike to car to car to luxury goods income in elastic if it is in between 0 and 1 so q is less than in proportion to income increase income elastic it is greater than 1 or more of a proportion to income increase so cross elasticity of demand we are discussing two things substitutes and complementary so prices increase of a substitute leads to an increased quantity of a good demanded what is complementary that is technically negative price increase of a complement leads to the decrease in the quantity demanded of a good the opposite of substitute goods are complementary goods and uh, to, uh, to to better understand that for example the sales of toys they are dependent on what rechargeable so rechargeable cells are complementary to the toys tires are complementary to the bikes tires are complementary to the cars so these are the complementary things for a vehicle mobile oil and petrol that is complementary without that you can't run it so that is the basic concept of it. in this slide i just um, brought these pictures and the graphic representation to better understand the substitutes the example of substitute goods are coca cola and pepsi car motorbike bike and public transport butter and margarine tea and coffee and same like in the fruits and the other vegetables you can even judge it like the banana and apple so they are substitutes to each other if one thing price goes up you substitute to the other so again the examples of the price and quantity you can look into the coca cola and the pepsi thing and the coca cola as price goes up and the quantity demand low becomes low so the people will substitute, substitute to what towards pepsi so the whole price line will shift from t to t1 same goes there in the below uh, graphical representation the demand of coca cola is a blue line and initial supply of coke is the hard red line and when the price shifts from p0 to p1 so the final supply of coca cola dotted red line pushes up same with the supply the supply of pepsi that is purple line and initial demand of pepsi is a solid green and then with the substitution from coke to the pepsi so the price line moves from uh, solid green to dotted green so uh, here in this slide we are representing uh, the substitution goods and complementary goods in different examples of that so pepsi and coke so we are not marketing uh, a fight between coke and pepsi but actually this is this is what on the under the definition of economics when we are studying elasticity so this happens actually on ground looking another example of the substitute goods the different brands like toyota or nissan or honda or suzuki so they are complements of the price and the comparison and different things that make the uh, pushes the person to make their decision and we are talking about the complementary goods so i have explained again the example is there the car and tires they are complementary to each other bikes and helmets they are complementary to each other so these things are uh, relevant and these things are better to these examples are better to understand the elasticity of demand concept in uh, in the competition 
uh, we we can discuss these examples which are uh, obvious to us and uh, we can understand it better the competition among companies that sell different types of goods that target the same customer group and satisfy the same needs like the dominant pizza is direct competition towards pizza hut and it's a in, indirect competition between burger king or mcdonald's uh, so you know, one can see a direct competition between mcdonald's burger king or kfc so that represents you know, the definition for indirect competition and direct competition and looking at the normal good again i am explaining it here that if it is greater than zero then the increased income leads to higher demand and when the yield is more than one then it increase leads to bigger percentage and it uh, this goes to towards the definition of luxury goods like sports cars or jet planes so or farmhouses like that and inferior goods have i already given the example of uh, the old fashioned tv towards the led or even on the grocery supermarket from juices to uh, soft drinks which are famous and which are expensive so uh, with that increase you will switch to it in uh, next lecture we will be discussing the elastic and inelastic demand there is one slide of numerical to better understand that and then cross elasticity of demand so this is what we will be discussing in the upcoming lecture allah